This is Ben Harris reporting from Berlin for JTA. I am outside the Cafe Burger. We're in just a couple of minutes. The band Golem is going to perform. I had a chance to talk to some of the musicians before about how they feel playing Yiddish music in a city that was once a bastion of Yiddish culture. Really excited because um, I've always heard that the best audience for Klezmer is in Germany and the worst is in Israel, so we'll have to see. <laughs> I've been apprehensive for two days now. <laughs> The Holocaust. It's just weird. Like I just I didn't think it was gonna be any big deal, but as soon as the train goes into Germany, I feel like the cold grip of fear on my heart, frankly. I mean, as funny as that may sound, but it's like two thousand nine, but it's just weird. It's like everything is very clean and efficient and people are very uptight. And I'm like, oh shit, what am I doing here? Ameisen van een stad in Polen. De, de stad is Warsaw. 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 En een klein stedelijk helm. Een klein stedelijk, ja. En we moeten het proberen om het Jiddisch te houden en te kicken. Want de enige. Ik bedoel, er zijn veel mensen die het spreken, maar dat zijn de echt religieuze mensen die het refuseren te read any of the great Yiddish literature, like Sholem Aleichem and stuff like that. So we have to keep that side of it alive too. We're doing this thing, and we're doing it, you know, in a way that I wholeheartedly approve of, that is to say, with gusto and lusto. Nene's, circuses and nene's. The boobs! Music from the soul. I, I can't. I can't explain. You know, it's uh, from one Jewish soul to another Jewish soul. You feel it inside. Uh, it's great. It's like traditional music, and it's really cool to dance. <laughs> <laughs>